The piriformis muscle attaches from the anterior side of the sacrum, crosses the hip joint to attach onto the greater trochanter of the femur. When the femoral attachment is pulled toward the sacral attachment, the piriformis laterally rotates the thigh at the hip joint, and indeed it's known as a deep lateral rotator. However, that's its anatomic action in that that's its action in anatomic position. If instead the thigh is first flexed approximately 60 degrees or more, the line of pull of the piriformis moves to the other side of the joint relative to the axis of motion in the transverse plane. Now if the femoral attachment is pulled toward the sacral attachment, the piriformis changes its action to be a medial rotator of the thigh at the hip joint. Looking at that again, medial rotation or internal rotation of the thigh at the hip joint. So bringing it back down, when we state that the piriformis is a lateral rotator, that is its anatomic action because that is its action when the thigh is in anatomic position.